You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Hello, everyone. I'm Onita Raj. Paul Russia says Ukraine is on the brink of civil war as Kiev says it has launched an anti terrorist operation in eastern Ukraine. Activists calling for a break with Ukraine have control of key buildings in at least 10 towns and cities in the Donetsk region. But Russian President Vladimir Putin denies there is any. Russian interference. In a phone call with U.S. President Barack Obama Monday night, Mr. Putin said politicians in Kiev were to blame. Well, let's take you now to the Russian capital and CNN's Diana Magne joins us live from Moscow. And Diana, some have been describing that uh, phone conversation between the two leaders as tense. <laughs> Well, yes, I mean, given the war of words exchanged between both sides at the moment, you can imagine that that... Dinah, thank you. Dinah Magna there, live for us from Moscow. Court is back in session and a new witness is on the stand on the uh, murder trial of Oscar Pistorius. That's after the prosecution and the defense wrapped up days of questioning of the athlete. The double amputee says he mistook his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp, for an intruder when he shot her. The state is trying to prove he shot her intentionally. Here's how the prosecutor wrapped up his cross-examination examination earlier. You said we should blame you for having taken a life. That's what you said yesterday. Right? And that's been five days of uh, questioning and uh, cross-examination uh, by the prosecutor. Let's bring in CNN's legal analyst Kelly Phelps. She's outside the courthouse in Pretoria. And Kelly, uh, we now know that the uh, defense has brought in their next witness. Tell us a little bit about uh, the kind of witness that we're seeing on the stand now. Well, the current witness is a trace evidence uh, on, expert. Kelly, thank you. Kelly Phelps, their CNN legal analyst. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. A rare lunar eclipse has just ended, but don't worry if you missed it. We'll let you watch it again. Stay with us. Hello again. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Today marks one year since the Boston Marathon bombings and the tragic events of April 15th last year sent shockwaves throughout the United States and even the world. Two bombs went off seconds apart near the marathon. Ready. Some of this year's uh, competitors are saying this time the run will be an emotional experience. But as Alexander Field reports, they are more determined than ever. A freshly painted finish line and with it a new beginning for 36,000 runners ready to cross it. Well, runners and spectators will see a number of security changes at this year's race, starting with more law enforcement on the course, including some 3,500 police officers and 600 members of the National Guard. That's more than double last year. In Britain, another somber anniversary is being marked today. 25 years since the worst ever disaster at a sports stadium on this day in 1989, 96 Liverpool football fans were crushed to death when too many spectators were crowded into an enclosure before the start of a big game. It took place at a football ground in Sheffield in the north of England. The name of the stadium has become inextricably, inextricably linked with the tragedy. Hillsborough. The original inquest verdict from 1991 was tossed out, and as Don was just reporting, a new coroner's inquest was ordered. Ordered the, the purpose is to determine how all 96 victims died. It began just two weeks ago and is expected to last a year. We'll be right back. 28th. Thousands of people turned out at, a, at Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles for a, a special viewing party of the lunar eclipse. Uh, let's get more now from CNN's Paul Verkamen. Here at the Griffith Observatory, they had their own sort of lunacy in a good well, way. We weren't able to see this uh, blood moon here uh, in Asia, but uh, you can get a shot of this. It's pretty spectacular in its own right here in Hong Kong. A moon reflected there on one of the very tall skyscrapers that dot our skyline. Well, let's get you now to uh, Mari Ramos at the World Weather Center for more on this, uh, <laughs> this beautiful site there. Did you get to see it? No, it's raining here. I'm so upset. <laughs> You know, I'm up early enough to be able to see it, you know, two in the morning, and uh, no, we didn't get to see it. So that's why I have this picture here behind me. This is back from 2010 with that uh, total solar uh, that, lunar eclipse. Excuse me? I'm kidding about that. It happens sometimes. But uh, anyway, back to you, Monita. Mari, thank you very sure. much. I'm Monita Rajpal at CNN Hong Kong. Let's join our partner network, CNN US, for more on the crisis in Ukraine and the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370.